you couldn't and you wouldn't. All right. God in his divine wisdom picked his only. Amen. God's trying to show us Jesus. God is trying to show us Jesus. Jesus. The songwriter was right when he said, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy. Somebody knew what I'm talking about. God is trying to show us Jesus. If you can't get with Jesus, then you ain't got no dealings with God. All right. Are you listening to me? All right. So throughout the Acts, we witnessed the spreading of the gospel that people upon hearing would receive and be saved. All right. And if salvation and the salvation message is boring for you, you don't need to be in church. All right. All right. Somebody missed that. All right. If that's a message that put you to sleep, mm. that somebody else paid for your lies, All right. somebody else paid for your fornication, All right. somebody paid for your premarital sex, All right. somebody paid for your extramarital sex, All right. somebody paid for what you stole, somebody paid for what you If that's a message that puts you to sleep, you ain't got no business. All right. Because mm. the church is comprised of saved folk. Amen. I'm not talking about this building. All right. The church is comprised of saved people. Amen. When Jesus comes back for the church, he's not coming back for the building. He's coming back for saved people. Save folks. And so throughout the ads, the spreading of the gospel went to and fro just as Jesus had commanded. It started in Jerusalem, spread it throughout the Judea. When it reached Samaria, it turned a city held captive into a city of joy. Amen. It spread it throughout the villages of Samaria. All right. It was presented to an Ethiopian as he traveled from Jerusalem back home. All right. And the gospel met Paul face to face on the Damascus Road. But today, brothers and sisters, I want to talk to you about the story of Tabitha. Because the story of Tabitha bears a similarity to the story of Jesus' friend, Lazarus. All right. Did you hear what I'm saying? Amen. Both Lazarus and Tabitha knew Jesus. All right. Lazarus knew Jesus in the physical sense. Tabitha knew Jesus in the spiritual sense. Both Lazarus and Tabitha had no spouse and no children. All right. Both Lazarus and Tabitha got sick. All right. Both Lazarus and Tabitha died. Amen. Both Lazarus and Tabitha was raised from the dead. All right. And as a result of Tabitha and Lazarus being resurrected, people believed on the Lord. All right. Can I tell you that? Amen. I said, can I tell you that? Oh. Now, brothers and sisters, although we're going to talk about Tabitha, the most important point of this text is not Tabitha. All right. Did you hear what I'm saying? Amen. Even though we're going to talk about her, the most important point of this text is not all right. The most important point of this text is the because of verse 42, many believed in the Lord. In the Lord. All right. Yeah, yeah. Many believed in the Lord. In the Lord. Many believed, believed in the Lord. In the Lord. And so in case you're wondering who is Lord, well, the Bible says that God has highly exalted 
named Jesus. All right. And given him a name that's above every name. All right. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. All right. That every tongue shall confess. They shall confess that Jesus Christ is. Somebody know what I'm talking about. He is Lord. He is Lord. Jesus, All the right. Son of God. Amen. He is Lord. Lord. He is Lord. And I submit to you today, brothers and sisters, that the mission and the ministry of today's church. All right. Because I'm always blown away by people who want to invite something new. All right. I'm always tripped up. I'm always baffled by people who want to invite something new into the church. We're not trying to build a social club. Amen. I wish you would hear me here. All right. And you know, sometimes I'm between a rock and a hard place. You understand what I'm saying? Because like every pastor, I want to see the pews full. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> but I have to remind myself yeah, that everybody will not accept Jesus. There are some folks that's on Allah's bandwagon. All right. There's some folks that's on Jehovah's bandwagon. All right. And even though they want to make like Jehovah is God. The fact of the matter is, the religion of the Jehovah's Witness was started by Charles T. Russell. All right. So either way you look at it, any religion that we participate in was started by some man. Come All right. Talk to me somebody. All right. Some folks are on God's bandwagon because they are black Israelites. Oops. Some folks. Some folks are just completely lost. That's right. Because they got a Bible in their hand. All right. They got the word network and they're completely lost. Oh. That's right. Listen, brothers and sisters, a Bible don't make a Christian. Amen. Jesus makes the difference. All right. You listen to me. All right. Just because you can talk and talk means absolutely nothing. Just because you can do a dance means absolutely nothing. nothing. Just because you can read the Bible, quote the Bible means absolutely nothing. What makes the difference is Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting last in life. Some folk going to end up in hell because they're lost. The mission and the ministry of today's church has to be that which was commanded by our Christ. All right. Go and teach all nations or all nationalities about Jesus, the Son of God, and then baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, all right. teaching them to observe or to practice all things that Jesus has commanded. All right. So the church is obligated, brothers and sisters, to go physically. The church is obligated to go by way of media. The church is obligated to go by way of the internet and whatever means possible to spread the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ our Our oh, Lord, so that people, so that many <coughs> might believe. All right. So that many might believe. Amen. So that many might believe. Might believe. Amen. In the Lord. All right. Brothers and sisters, as we unfold this text of the story of Tabitha, she lived in the city of Jonathan. All right. The gospel appeared to have traveled from Samaria and its surrounding villages up to and through Damascus. All right. Over to the seaport city of Joppa. 
Amen. Jabo was about 35 miles northeast of Jerusalem. All right. It was what it